Alright, so let's talk about the Academy Elemental Towers in Prodigy. As you can see, I am at the top of the Academy, and I am facing the five locked doors of the five Academy Elemental Towers. In this video, I'm going to share my predictions on how I think Prodigy will use the Elemental Towers in the next section of the game. But first, I'm going to give a rundown of the previous iteration of the Elemental Towers, if you are not aware of how it went down. So here's the story behind what used to be the Elemental Towers. So basically, we start back in late 2018, around the September timeframe, where the Academy was first released to all players, and everyone was able to enter and do the Academy archives. The upstairs rooms were locked. As of January 2019, the upstairs rooms were unlocked, and we were actually able to go up in this room here and access the Earth Tower. This was the first of the five elemental towers that Prodigy planned to release. The premise of the Earth Tower was that you had to rescue Florian, who was the Earth Warden, and doing so would put you one step further to defeating the Puppet Master, and you could only unlock the Earth Tower once you had collected the Firefly Keystone from Firefly Forest by finishing all of the quests, and you had to be a certain level to place the Keystone. In order to rescue Florian, you needed to complete all eight floors of the Earth Tower. Doing that consisted of going through each floor and doing three monster battles until you finished those and went back and advanced to the next floor. Once you finished the eighth floor, you were able to go into the room that Florian was being held captive in and you defeated the boss that was holding him captive, Shadow Gerald. Once you did so, Florian gifted you Brumble, a pet, so that you could um, use it for your advantage, and he sat outside in this room while the Earth Tower was unlocked, and we waited for about two more years, over two more years, until August 2021, when the Ice Tower was released. It was pretty much the exact same as the Earth Tower, except... This time you had to rescue the Ice Warden, which was Ada, and Ada gifted you Blizzherod as a gift, as a reward for helping her out, and you were two steps closer to defeating the Puppet Master. Again, you could only enter this tower once you had collected the Ice Keystone and the Shiver Chill Keystone and placed it after reaching a certain level. So at this point, we... Well, we believed that there was going to be like a two-year wait between each tower that Prodigy released. We did not know why this took so long since the towers were so similar, but this is just how it was going and we expected that in late 2023 we were going to get the Storm Towers release. That did not end up happening and I think that was for the better. On July 26th, 2023, we got the revamp of the game that Prodigy was working on. This story was completely scrapped and the Elemental Towers no longer had anything to do with defeating the Puppet Master and Prodigy. Now you were able to defeat the Puppet Master as soon as you had collected all five keystones and completed the boss battles leading up to the Puppet Master. As of that day, this is how the Elemental Towers looked. All five of them were locked, including the previously released Earth and Ice Towers. And this is how it has looked ever since then, and how it is as of March 2024 when I am recording this. So that was a rundown of how the Elemental Towers were previously used in Prodigy, and now we're just going to talk about their potential future. So this is the message that currently shows when you click on one of these towers on the locked doors, and it basically reads that you have to collect, like, bring light to dispel the shadows to unlock the doors to the towers. We really do not know what that means because, of course, that part of Prodigy has not happened yet. So let's talk about the potential future of the towers. So again, as of March 2024, nothing has been revealed yet. Prodigy has not revealed their plans for the future of the game, but we do know that some sort of reveal is coming 
and we hope that it is going to be sooner rather than later in 2024 that we get at least information on what is going to happen next in the game, if not the actual continuation of the story. I do hope that we do get that in this year. Before 2024 is over, we should get the next part of the story that involves these elemental towers. So let's think about where we are right now in the story. The Puppet Master has been defeated. We can assume that the Puppet Master is just going to stay defeated unless Prodigy decides to bring him back. We have no idea what they are going to do, but let's just assume for the sake of this that the Puppet Master is going to stay defeated and so is Pippet. There will be a new antagonist of Prodigy at some point, some sort of like higher shadow power of the Order of Influence that is going to be introduced. Someone with a higher power level than the Puppet Master, that's going to be crazy to witness. So Newt tells us that after we defeat the Puppet Master, he can sense that the Wardens are still trapped. He says that he can see them, see glimpses, glimpses of them when he looks into the keystones that are currently placed in their correct spots on the pedestal in the academy. Which is, again, crazy to think about. That never was the, was the case for many years in Prodigy. So it's crazy to think that all five keystones are still placed in-game if you collected them and defeated the Puppet Master. So the Wardens are expected to be part of the next version of Prodigy, the story continuation after defeating the Puppet Master that will hopefully come this year. But are they the same Wardens? That is a question to be posed for sure. As of right now, what we know is that Florian, the previous, well, the Earth Warden, has appeared in the updated quests of Firefly Forest. Those quests obviously take place long before the Puppet Master is defeated, because that's the first area that you go to. So as of the current story in Prodigy, we have only seen Florian through the quests of Firefly Forest. Is he still the Earth Warden? That remains to be seen. Is Ada still the Ice Warden? Again, that remains to be seen. I am thinking that the answer to this is going to be yes, they are still going to stay the Wardens, but Prodigy could do anything and we have no idea what the future will bring. But we do expect the towers to be part of the next section of the game, but I'm sure they are going to be in a completely different capacity. I would not be surprised if when Prodigy re-releases these towers, they are completely redone, they don't look anything like they used to. I think they might create an entirely different environment for the towers, and an entirely different story. You may not have to go up 8 stories to rescue a warden, and do a boss battle, who knows? The possibilities are basically endless. Also, how will the towers be released? Will they be released still two years apart? I highly doubt that. I think Prodigy realized that that was not working out very well and that is why they decided to revamp the story. And again, like I said earlier, I think that this was the better option than continuing to release all of the towers two years in a row. Now we get a fresh start on all the elemental towers and Prodigy can do something new with them even though us old players will still know what the towers were like from the past. The nostalgia is going to be crazy when the Earth Tower is re-released. Man. We could be seeing an entirely different structure to this room as well. The towers might be reordered. Anything, again, can happen. I think the towers are going to be released sooner and closer between, well, closer to each other. And I do predict that everything is going to be different in the towers. Nothing is going to be the same, and we're going to have a completely fresh start, a reboot on all of the elemental towers, so that Prodigy can do something that they think is for the best, and better suits the new version of the game. So, of course, we have some crazy things to look forward to in the year of 2024, we can definitely expect the game to be continued in this year, and we can expect announcements hopefully sooner rather than later. 
of course anything we get any updates i will provide videos on because those are like really big deals and i cannot wait to see what the future of the game will bring in the next couple of years so what are your thoughts about all of this what would you like to see from the academy elemental towers when they are re-released in game and what do you want to see from the entire next part of prodigy's story let me know all of your thoughts in the comments